Hey folks, we're back. Today is Saturday, May 26, 2012. So, yesterday, we didn't know all about the iOS 5.1.1 jailbreak. So, if you install iOS 5.1.1 on your iOS device, this includes iPhone, iPad, and iPad Touch, then you have the ability to download jailbreak here. Before, you could, before this was released, you could jailbreak it, but it was always tethered. Meaning that you must connect to your computer to restart your device and use the jailbroken apps. But now it's untethered, so you can turn it off and back on while connecting to your computer to use the app. So today, we are going to have jailbroken our, our iOS, our iPod Touch 4G. Let me just going to show you how to install oh, the scan of OS 7 for your iOS device. So, here we go. First, you must have an iOS 5.1.1 jailbroken device, and you must so, so sorry. It must be a jailbroken, like we just said. So go to Cydia, right here. Let's zoom in. And then let's hopefully let it quickly load everything up. So if this is your first time, they will I'm have you three choices, user, hacker, and developer. So we use user for basic account, and then developer is for intermediate, and then hacker is just the in-between. So once you get done, it will say reloading data. User device may restart, but you may pause this video to restart device and then come back. So once you load, brought to the screen. So now go to search, right there. Type in train board. Oh, right there. This should be the first one. Once it load up, click install. This was required to have the scan spoiler load. And click install. And then confirm. Second time it should work, so it should say downloading Dreamboard and then it should have a line of scripts running through quickly. Don't worry, this is just this is just normal installing it. it. Took about two to three minutes we say. Oh yeah. Okay. So then it says installing train board and then now it says if you're loading data. This probably respring. Re you have to respring your device. So a quick restart as it were. So we start springboard. So quick restart your device. Almost done. Then you go right here, back to the home screen. So slide to unlock. Just go over on page or as many as can. It says Dream Bar right there, which allows you to click. And then it shows you the pre install one and the original one. Right here, you have this welcome screen. It says Welcome. Welcome to Dream Bar. Tap on any item to switch it. Tap and hold on any theme to see more options. So if you type and hold on this, the Android, which is pre installed. It's an Android HTC based theme. You can edit, reset, and cancel. So let's just look at it. Then let it load. Hopefully, it focus. So we already had it used before, but it looks like this. You have live, the live weather going past, what the time, date, the weather, depending on where your area is. Scroll to the left, scroll to the left. Yeah. Then you have this option to choose Facebook, Twitter, or Google. Go back down, side to the right twice. As you can see, the wallpaper moves as well, as well as icons to stay. And then it shows more icons. This little arrow right here brings up all your apps that you installed on your iOS device. Dream board takes you back to the switcher. So go back there. And then plus, unless you have more options, which are settings. 
So you have display options for animated weather with display live weather animations, edit mode, allow any app icons, wallpaper, select background wallpaper and web widget with a special select Facebook, Twitter, and Google. So let's go back down to Dreamboard and let's go back to the original one which is default. Now to install the iOS 7, just go back to Studio, let it load. Now go to search, let it load, now type in iOS 7, iOS 7, and then click search. Oh, sorry. Uh, OS, my, sorry. OS 7 at iOS, OS 7. And then click search. And there you go, that's better. So, first option is iOS 7. This is the old version, which is version 1.0. And the alternative OS 7, SBS HD, is also the old version, which is 1.0. But we want the middle one, which is OS 7 Revive. 2.1.2 so click install install and install and confirm once again second time it should work like a charm so downloading OS 7 revive hopefully we can get this quickly installed So downloading OS 7, revive, download, and download quickly. Now installing and reloading data, just like Dreamboard. Except with this one, you won't have to restart Spring, Dreamboard, Springboard. Whatever. You just have to return to Cydia. Now, if you scroll down, it will say right here, down description. Uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> Sorry. It's right oh, here. It says right there. It says uninstall all previous OS 7 versions before installing this and reboot once the installation has finished. So to reboot, hold down the home the home button as well as the standby button at the same time. Oh, sorry. Let's try that again. And then after that, you should have the slides back on with the Apple button. logo. Just let this restart itself. And so, hopefully, a little bit faster. time now and all right so it's a pretty long video but hopefully this works for you as they have a start to slide to unlock so slide to unlock go over one on dream board I used to see three options OS 7 so hopefully this works okay now I see at the bottom so you can theme Once that's finished, you should get a different screen, which is similar to the top saying iOS default theme, screen status bar, and then the iOS set, the, I, the OS 7, the OS 7 icons with the live titles, tiles, here kind of pictures, music, FaceTime messages, mail, and Safari, like the OS 7 on the default phones, such as HTC, you cannot change the ties, all you can do is hold, and you should have three different options, well, R, just focus, 
move up, move down, unpin, and cancel. As well as that, you can scroll left and right, or use a physical, not physical, but interact the button. You can change the settings from themes, go over, wallpaper, continue scrolling, title, background, and then if you click the three dots at the lower right corner, it brings up more options with tile transparency, which is off right now, but as well as the lock screen transparency, which are off. Just put check. So you can pin anything there. For example, we're gonna pin Facebook code. And now you get three different options which are it says dot it says com dot Facebook dot Facebook which is Facebook.com. And then it says pin to start show on lock screen and cancel. So we're gonna click pin start. As it's finished you have this for here which also have five titles which should load automatically and shows you the not since there are all the notifications on Facebook using this number counter right there. As well as this, you can also lock your iOS device, push home button or the lock chain, and you should have this screen right here, which is the same as the OS 7. You have this time, the date, time and date, and then your calendars, and then anything pinned down here that you would like. So we could this part of the front end. I do have finished, and that's pretty much how you download it. And see you later.